Being able to cast far can separate a good fisherman from a great fisherman. Casting far won't guarantee that you'll catch a lot of lures, and at most spots, you don't even need to cast far. But at some places, you do. And every little fisherman needs to cast at least a distance far enough to where your line isn't touching the rocks when you set your pole in the pole holder. Being a good caster will allow you to get your bait into channels, next to shelves, or out into deeper reef, and it prevents your line from crossing all the other lines if an alua bites. So today, I'll be teaching you how to cast an alua pole. All you're gonna need is a alua pole, a reel spool to a line, water to wet that line, and a lead sinker. We're gonna go ahead to the park and have a little casting session. And here's a little tip. Tie the loop for your lead before you leave the house so you're not doing it in the hot sun. I like to use a figure eight knot. So there are two types of casts that are important to master when you start a little fishing. The cast that we're gonna be going over today is the drag cast. If you never casted a little pole, this is the cast that you're gonna wanna learn first since the swing cast is, has a pretty identical motion, but it's a little bit harder for most people. Um, if you want me to make a tutorial of the swing cast, then just comment below and I'll do it for you. So the first step of casting a little pole is properly holding the pole in reel. So notice how I have my left hand all the way at the bottom of the pole, while my right hand I have my four fingers wrapped around the pole, while my right thumb is controlling the reel. We'll talk about dumbing your spool later, but for now just make sure your left hand is all the way at the bottom of the pole so you can maximize the torque on your cast. So the first step is to get your spray bottle and water bottle and then go ahead and wet your line. Uh, this is so the friction doesn't burn your thumb when you're casting. Uh, when you're actually fishing in the ocean, you want to wet your line by just softly casting it and letting your line touch the water. After you wet your line, next step is to measure the length that your lead will be. I like to hold my pole straight up and make sure my lead is right next to the first guide on my pole. Then you're going to put your reel in free spool mode and lay your lead back, straight back, and have the butt of your pole facing where you're going to cast. Then you take a step forward, extend your arms back, and cast the pole maybe around like a 45 degree angle. So when you're casting a spinner pole, it's more of a whipping over the top action. But when you cast conventional, you're going to kind of want to go more towards the side and have a little bit more power from your hips and legs. So when you're casting, you want to make sure that you swing your arms up and out. And when you throw the pole, you want to make sure you push with your real hand and pull with the butt of the pole going towards your hip. And as your lead is flying in the air, you want to make sure that you point the tip of your pole at your lead just to minimize the friction on your guides from the line. I do a pretty bad job in doing that, but I'm trying to work on it. Thumbing the spool is the hardest part of casting a conventional reel, so don't get too discouraged if you're having a hard time. Even I burnt my thumb casting that day because I didn't add enough water on my line. So if it's your first time casting, don't be afraid to use a lot of water. So the whole concept is, you have to use your thumb to make sure the spool isn't spinning faster than the rate at which the line comes out. If you apply too much pressure on the reel, you'll end up burning your thumb, or not casting as far as you want to. But if you apply too little pressure, you end up getting a bird's nest. This is a bird's nest, and it's bad, but when you start lure fishing, it happens quite often. You just got to take it out and just recast. There is really no good way for me to show you what correct pressure it is. But the only way I can explain it is if you're tapping your thumb to a, like a song on the radio. That small amount of pressure is what you would be applying to the reel. Take out a bird's nest. You need to pull the loops back towards you. And then try pulling out as much line as you can from your reel. Just keep doing this until you see the, that the line is tight on your reel. And then you can start reeling it back up again. 
be sure to be patient and gentle when trying to take out a bird's nest. If you start yanking on the loops and they're not coming out, that's how you could cinch them and just make it even harder on yourself. Alright guys, I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. Um, be sure to leave any comments if you have any questions and subscribe if you want to see more about fishing in Hawaii. I'll see you in the next video.